One of the most profound discoveries was in the Squiggles and Keeling's curve. This upward and downward pattern of carbon dioxide recorded the breathing of the Earth. Similar to the daily breathing of plants that Keeling had seen when he first started his measurements, the pulse of the Earth's seasons was being recorded by the atmosphere. During the Northern Hemisphere summer, when photosynthesis is in full swing, the amount of carbon dioxide decreases. Then in the winter, the falling leaves decompose, giving carbon off back off to the air. Up until this point, no one suspected that plants could so visibly alter the atmosphere. A more worrying finding from Keeling's curve was that the amount of carbon in the atmosphere was increasing, and that this increase went in lockstep with emissions from the burning of fossil fuels. When Keeling began his measurements, no one knew what, had ha what would happen to the carbon emitted from fossil fuel burning. But by the late 50s, scientists had started to suspect that carbon was accumulating in the atmosphere as a result of increased energy consumption. Until Keeling, though, no one had been able to take accurate enough measurements to know for sure. We have long known about that carbon dioxide traps energy or heat at the surface of the planet. The basic physics of the atmosphere worked out more than a century ago by scientific legends such as Joseph Foyer, John Tyndall, and Arrhenius show that carbon dioxide plays a powerful role in Earth's climate system. Carbon dioxide is very effective at trapping the sun's heat, acting much like a one-way blanket letting in light from the sun but stopping heat from escaping back to space. Without carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the Earth would be a frozen wasteland, too cold to support life. But emissions from human activities have been burdening the atmosphere with too much of a good thing.